You want to support me? Go to Nene Marie 37 on IG and purchase a signed copy of my book. That's how you support me. Make sure you smash that like button. Yo! It's your boy Treasure News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all love and support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to my channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the Real Mod Squad, man. If you ain't following my mods, they all dope. They all got dope content, and they do promotion, man. So make sure you follow my mods to at, at the end of the video, man. Remember, if you got anything extra, man, I know this. I know this just reality, what I'm saying, man, what I'm about to say, but it's reality. Any, if you got anything extra, man, that you can give, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. I don't care what you say about it. Um, first of all, I want to say let's save the kids. Let's save the kids. That's what everybody platform should be that's from the trenches. Should be time, um, helping save the kids or um, doing stories, explaining to the kids, like, don't be like them and shit like that. That's what you should be trying to do, man. Don't worry about trench news. Trust me, I'm telling you. You're going to be broke chasing me while I'm running it up on that on the Monopoly board. All right? Um, hope everybody's safe, man. Hope everybody's safe, man. Y'all be safe, man. Dangerous weekend coming up. Make sure y'all be safe. But I got Chief Keith, man. I got C-Day number 22. And I got King Von, man. That's the topic, man. I got um, King Von, man. His jail um situation keep coming out man he gonna live on forever through music the drill and and his jail um um jail habits jail um house videos i mean and then we got Lil dirt we got i mean not Lil dirt we got c day 22 could possibly be coming home man the girl who was there um basically she's saying that the police course her is it is an investigation through um the headquarters it's an investigation um and to the officer, the officer is being federally investigated already. Um, he was responsible for King Von, D Rose, all of them got the same police officer. Whether he grabbed them and he was on the case, one way or another. Whether he did the paperwork or he was there or he went on the raid to grab them or he was looking for them. This month he was there. Um, see that responsible for killing the cab driver, man, and um, you know. Sex is part of his um um killing somebody is part of sex to him, you know. So I don't know, but the girl did say she lied. I don't know how much of her statement can um help him out. Um, Rondo number nine said that he was the sole shooter. He already put it on C Day, not knowing that C Day could possibly come home. But his case is being investigated, and C Day does have a chance to come home because the witness and a and a cop was corrupt. So at least he have a chance of going back in front of the judge and get resentenced or, uh, you know what I'm saying, time considered to serve. Because he said they offered him 20, 20 in a dough, you know, to get on the stand on Ron, though, you know, but he said he didn't. But that's what with C-Day, man. We're going to talk about more of that on my live. I want to get into King Von, man. King Von, it's a video going around if y'all haven't seen it. Shout out to Chirac Rares and, that, and the other people who post their videos or Chirac Humor. Um... King Von was in jail on the deck, man. And he was on the deck with um they called him Baby D. They um who who was on the deck with him, bro. And um him and King Von was horse playing. They they do look like he was trying to knock Von out for real. But this man was crying on camera, bro. You up in there for a fucking murder, bro. And you on camera crying. And he way bigger than Von. Like, Vaughn had this man crying. He said, man, I told him, man, I ain't want to um, look like a fucking creative player off the NBA game. I told him, man, I ain't want to play, man. He just kept on horse playing. I'm like, this shit can't be real. I can see Vaughn little, little deep conniving ass laughing from the ground. See where he at. Um, but, yeah, man, if y'all ain't see that video, make sure y'all go and check it out. I'm like, damn, baby D, he, this nigga uh, a killer. He crying, bro. You up in there for a murder, goddamn it, in two attempts, and you crying. Or I don't know if he beat it, but shit, he was up in there for a murder in two attempts when I was in there. So, yeah, that's crazy, though, man. King Von horse playing on the deck. No one ain't no horse playing there on the deck, period. But, you know, he he was having his way up in there, and he smacked, he was smacking the shit out of dude. And Baby D, he wasn't getting no hits off, man, and he was crying. He cried in front of the guards, man. That was crazy. That was crazy shit I seen. But last but not least, we're going to get into Chief. Keith, man, I seen a dope interview of Keith, man. Sound like Keith grew up, man. Sound like Keith really grew up. I think the music that Keith dropping, 
He probably did years ago, man. He probably did years ago, and he just not dropping it. Uh, we just not hearing it. You know what I'm saying? But in, that, in this interview with this guy, now this is a rare interview. Keith even said it like, man, I came in here when I was 16. I'm 29 now. You know, he's still alive. Say, man, I had to move out to Cali to start living life, to start being a man. You know what I'm saying? About to to grow out of them them habits that you got to grow out of, what you stuck and wrapped in in Chicago, man. I think all the youth, I think all the youth and everybody need to watch that interview, man. Um, it's on Apple, but I think everybody need to watch that interview, man. That was dope as hell, bro. Hey, you used to Keith not saying nothing. You used to him giving out two a uh, uh, one sentence, man. The whole interview. That man say he ain't lying, man. All you say in the interview is three hundred. OTF, bang, bang. He be saying shit like that in the interview, bro. Like, ain't answering no questions, biting his nails and shit. And he answered all the questions, bro. And he, was, he felt good, bro, saying that, you know, he a man. And he glad that he moved out of Chicago to become a man. So all you rappers want to stay in the hood, trying to move out your homies. Hey, look, they not giving you that bag no more where you can move out your whole entourage, your family and that. They not giving y'all that bag. They giving a nigga enough to go back. Hopefully, he move his mom out with that little change and give you enough for to last you for about a year until you can, you know, get it for yourself. You know, knowing that you got features, knowing that you got shows, you know what I'm talking about, shit like that. But once they sign for that money, they own your YouTube. They own everything, man. But people like Keith, he he got in wide when he was young and he and he end up fulfilling his contract to get out. You know, I don't know what type of contract he in now because he was Al Key, that dude. Um, but, you know, I was proud of Keith, man, when he said that, bro. And um, y'all, if y'all ain't seen the interview, go and check it out, man. It's dope. And I seen Keith and Dirk. They talking, man. I think um, Dirk feeling the pressure of this almighty. Dirk must have heard it or something because he said, told Keith, don't make me drop this um. Don't make me drop this um this 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 songs these songs these unreleased songs. So, you know, I I think I think it's gonna be some some positive competition. I don't think it's gonna be no negative shit, or uh, none of that. I think you know Keith songs gonna be what they what they is. You know, don't be surprised if you hear him disrespecting the other side. You know, I don't be this surprised. I just expect Keith them to grow up, bro. Like after a while, bro, how much Tuka can you smoke on? How much um. OD can you smoke on? How much Kita can you smoke on? How much KI can you smoke on? How much Lil B, you, uh, you know, anybody, bro. Lil Steve, how much can you smoke on, bro? You know, you only, you're a coward, bro. Like, that's some coward shit. But this church news, let's tell the kids they minds they nine. Let's protect these kids, women, elderly, civilians.